Liverpool, England. This historic port city is famously known as the hometown of the Beatles. But over the years, it has gained a much stranger reputation. It is said that in Liverpool, time moves in mysterious ways. And it's become ground zero for a phenomenon known as time slips, which are a kind of accidental time travel. In Liverpool, there's a shopping street called Bowl Street, which has become infamous for time slips. One of these time slips involved a police officer called Frank, who was out shopping with his wife, Carol, in July 1996. And Carol went to the Dillon's bookstore, and he went to a shop to buy a CD, a compact disc, 1990s technology. Now, he then returned to meet up with his wife, but the bookstore where his wife was, Dylan's, had now become Crips and was selling women's clothing and handbags. Now, this confused Frank, who then looked around and found that everybody around him was dressed inexplicably in 1940s, 1950s fashion, and he became rapidly aware that he was no longer in the 1990s. He was somewhere very, very different. And everything then just changes back to how it should be. The bookshop is there, which he knows to be Dylan's, but he remembered the name of that shop, and it was Crips. And there was indeed a shop in the 1950s at that location by the name Crips. Is it possible that there are places in this world where space-time works differently to anywhere else? Recently, time slips have been entering the news, the fact that here you are at one point in space, and then suddenly time has a mistake in it, which allows you to slip right through a crack in the fabric of space and time. There is a big difference between a time slip and the use of a time machine. In a time machine, you have control over your comings and goings uh, along the timeline. With a time slip, one ends up in the future, or possibly the past, without any idea of how you got there or any control of being there. Curiously, time slips have also been reported on the sites of historic battlegrounds. Another very interesting account of a time slip occurs in 1932, when two journalists went to the Hamburg shipyard to cover a story. A gentleman by the name of J. Bernard Hutton and another gentleman by the name of Brandt. Nothing out of the ordinary took place until suddenly, they found themselves in the midst of bombs being dropped all around them. They could see, actually, bombs falling out of the sky. And obviously, this was something that terrified them, and they got out of there quickly. When they looked back from Hamburg to the shipyards, they appeared to be intact and unharmed. And when Brandt's photographs were developed, again, there was no damage to the shipyards. Fast forward to 1943, and Hutton was living in Britain during the Second World War. He read a report of an RAF raid on that shipyard, a bombing raid by the Royal Air Force. And the description in the newspaper matched exactly what he'd seen on that day in 1932 and chilled him to the bone. If there is some truth to these time slip reports, then what could be causing them? Well, according to physicists, the answer could be that we're living in what's referred to as the multiverse. The idea of the multiverse comes from the quantum theory. You know, when we were children, we were told that you cannot be two places at the same time. That's just common sense, right? Well, we lied to you. In the quantum theory, electrons can, in fact, be two places at the same time. Therefore, we have the scenario where the past, the present, the future are all mixed up into one. 
So, in principle, the theory allows you to simultaneously exist with somebody from the past. What are we to make of people coming forward and claiming these time slips, whether they be into the past or into the future? And I think what we can say is that there are so many of these stories that there must be some kind of truth to them.